I'm always really fascinated by Disney's propaganda cartoons. And I have to say, Food Will Win the War is definitely an interesting one. This was released in 1942. And the narrator, Fred Shields, basically says that if they grew X amount of potatoes, it would cover this amount of land and this amount of corn would do such and such. And it's basically trying to put into perspective what could be achieved with colossal amount of foods. The intent there is to encourage agriculture. It is a bit of a stretch to say that having this amount of food could win the war directly, but it is, of course, about creating foods on their own land. Wikipedia also says that part of this film or part of the reason for this film was because people were worried that supplies were being sent overseas. Too many supplies were being sent overseas, which I think is a reasonable worry to have when the world is at war. And this helps to show that actually we can grow supplies. We have plenty of supplies. Look how many supplies we can grow on our own soil. And it is a little far-fetched in places. And a little bit awkward as well. Hitler as a bowling pin is not something I ever thought I'd see. And there's one moment that's a little bit uncomfortable where we have this, well, this character who's described as being a very plump girl. And plump is putting it mildly. And she's eaten so much of American grown agriculture that she's the size of Berlin. They say that she can black out Berlin, which is really uncomfortable and awkward. But the point there is that they can grow so much food on their own land that you could grow to the size of being able to black out Berlin, which is maybe not something you want to encourage. But that's one example of the strange ways they they say that agriculture can help them win the war. I won't go into any more details or give any more examples as I don't want to spoil it. But that for me was certainly one of the most unexpected ones to say the least the animation is really good very very well animated very well edited the narration from fred shields is really good as well very easy to listen to certainly very creatively written but i have to praise it they did something that i thought would be not at all like this because i would assumed when i was watching it that it was all about creating foods to give strength to the soldiers and to the working people so that they had the strength in them to win the war. They definitely went down a much more creative route. But I paid attention. I paid full attention. And of course, that's the key thing with propaganda is capturing people's attention to deliver the message. And I guess, well, I I don't know if agriculture increased after this or if people were more at ease about sending supplies but from my perspective now watching this in 2024 in the UK nevertheless I feel like this could have had an impact it's certainly very interesting if you're interested in Disney's propaganda cartoons it is absolutely worth checking out it's one of the less offensive in so far as its depiction of the axes There are certain things that are awkward. There's one point when the narrator directly addresses Hitler, which was uh, definitely bizarre. But in in terms of the representations of, of other countries, it's not as offensive as some. But it's certainly very interesting. And I, I enjoyed it for the right reasons in seeing how creative it was. Definitely a little uncomfortable in parts and definitely far-fetched in a lot of ways, but very well done. And ultimately, I found it to be very fascinating. It's directed by Hamilton Luske, uh, I didn't mention that, and written by Dick Kinney. And is definitely something that I think is worth checking out.